Hello. Welcome to Talking and Reading from Japan by Hidemi Woods. I'll read episodes from my books I wrote and talk about them here. I hope you enjoy the show with me. Hi, I'm your host, Hidemi Woods. I'll read an episode from the book I wrote titled An Old Tree in Kyoto. Today's episode is called Money Has Wings. This is about how my sister's money were gone. Money has wings. One day in my early teens, I heard a scream from my younger sister's room. My mother and I went in, and my sister was crying over the open drawer of her desk. She said her money was gone. She had stashed all her money in an envelope there by saving her allowances and money as New Year's gifts from relatives. She had thought the total amounted to well over $1,000 and had decided to count for the first time in a long time. But there was less than $500, and she was devastated. My mother allowed her by explaining that that was how money was gone. While spending a small amount of money on candies and snacks at a time, it accumulated a big amount in total. That's why we say money has wings, my mother said to her. But my sister insisted she had never bought candies that much and never wasted her money like that because she loved to save. My mother's theory wouldn't change, though, and she kept telling her that money disappeared slightly while we were unaware. She said, you learned an important lesson today. Now you know what is money. Quietly seeing my sister cry hard and say repeatedly that was impossible, I had a clear idea what had happened to her money, really. It was I who had regularly stolen her stashed money. I was in junior high school, and my allowance was always short for what I wanted. I was constantly in a battle with my mother for raise and denied. While there were countless things in the world that I wanted to buy, my sister wasn't in interested in buying at all. So her money was useless and I did a favor by spending it instead of her. My sister's money had wings all right, and brought me a lot of records, posters, concert tickets, and accessories. Neither my mother nor my sister had the slightest idea what I had been doing, and they still don't know about this. That was today's episode about my sister's money. Yes, I confess, I stole it. I was, am, a bad sister. I hope my sister or my mother would 
Never listen to this podcast <laughs> because they didn't know about this. They don't know about my stealing. Well, in my defense, my monthly allowance was so small. And um, it was not because my family's financial uh, situation or condition, because my mother spent thousands of dollars for her clothes. And while I had known it, she had never raised my allowance or never tried to give some um, additional money for me. She just um, uh, completely denied my request. while she spent as much as she wanted. And I felt it's, it was so unfair. And um, my, when I was a teenager, so I was constantly short of money and uh, I was always complaining about my allowance to my mother. So in those days when I was a teenager and uh, I was still a, a student of junior high and high school. When I tried to say something to my mother at home and started, mom, and she, she quickly, um, her answer was short and quick, no money. So my Mom meant to her that I was going to bring up bring up about raising my allowance or give, giving me some money or something. It's my conversation was to my mother. My conversation was almost always about money. So she just hated my mom so much because she knew it would lead to money topics somehow. So uh, every time I said, Mom, she said, no money. That was our regular, usual conversations. <laughs> it was not exactly that I I wanted things, so many things in the world, so much. It wasn't exactly that it wasn't that. It's just, um, I spent, I needed money for 
catching up my friends rather than buying things to satisfy myself. It's, it's I needed money for not for buying things but more for catching up my friends. I was uh, I went to a private junior high school that was quite um, famous for um, rich families. Rich families' daughters tend to attend that school. It was quite famous for that. And uh, students around me were all rich girls. It was girls' school, all girls' school. And uh, they were so rich, so, so rich. And uh, although my family wasn't so wasn't so rich, but my mother wanted me to go to that school out of vanity, and uh, she made me go there. And she bragged about my school to her relatives and neighbors. My daughter went to that famous school, blah, 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 and was done for her. But it was me who need to catch up in that rich school, although I'm not. I wasn't rich. So the hardest part was all on me, not on my mother. I was the one who had to survive and catch up at that school. where other students' lifestyles were so much different from mine, especially the way of their spending was totally different from mine was uh, almost a culture shock for me. They just, um, my friends asked their parents for money and they gave it to them. That was all the negotiations they made. So they just asked and they got money. And I need to catch up with my small allowance with them. And Especially it was hard for me because I was um, I was in a group of really cool students. I wasn't cool, really, but I admit I was a uh, clumsy, awkward, but 
I pretended. I hid myself and pretended someone else to be someone else in order to join that cool group of the school, of the class. And I successfully, successfully got in that cool group. And as a member of that cool group, I really needed to、uh, go with them the way they spent. That was the most difficult thing in my school days. For instance,、um, my friends. In my group,、um, regularly、uh, dropped by、um, some casual fast food restaurants or cafes after school. And they usually、uh, told me. To join them. Let's go, let's go after school. And I couldn't say no because I wanted to be included in that group. So I went with them. So, in a few, oh, a couple of days, my allowance or all spent allowance was the total amount was all spent away. So I was always、um, empty in my wallet. My wallet was always empty, and I needed to do something. And firstly, I gathered small changes from the families, from my family's small change jar. It cleared quickly. So fast, all the jars went empty in a flash.、Mm. Mm. Then the, there was a family wallet in the drawer for、um, some bills to pay. And I sneaked a bill once or twice a week. And,、um, and, but it was, I couldn't do that.、Um, Um, so、uh, I couldn't sneak the family wallet so much because it,、uh, it was difficult to hide, you know. it It became obvious easily. So I couldn't go overboard with that. So the family wallet was limited. 
the small change jars were empty. And as my last resort, I used my younger sister's stashed money in her drawer. I knew she would save a lot of money there because her hobby was saving. And how could I resist myself when I knew there was so much money sitting on my sister's drawer. It was almost like I had to, I, I had to use it. Because that money, my sister's money, was just lying there. And I, perhaps I used her stashed money um, for, for years and uh, was a thousands, not thousands, uh, one thousand, ten, mm, five or six or seven hundred dollars by in the span of three or four years. <coughs> I just I just didn't understand how a person prefer saving to spending like my sister. My sister really loved saving and I simply didn't understand that sense. I still probably don't understand <laughs> the fun part of saving. But um, after those years, I hadn't had a chance to talk about my stealing with my sister and I don't know what she thinks but she may have still believed her money had wings somehow and flew away from her drawer because she never imagined, never pictured I was the person who could steal money from someone. After I left home and um, 
became a musician. I had no place to steal because I left my sister. I didn't, I wasn't living with my sister anymore. So I don't have、uh, that magical drawer anymore. So I had, I didn't have a, a place to steal. And also, I didn't earn money enough. I don't earn money enough. I have, I make such a small income now. So I can't steal. I can't earn. And so money doesn't have wings. Money doesn't exist for me. So Wings or with wings or without money doesn't come to me. That was the truth about money for me. Well, That was all for today. I'm Hidemi Woods. Thanks for listening. I hope you come back and join me again soon. Until next time, take care and be well. Audiobook, The Family in Kyoto, One Japanese Girl Got Freedom by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple Books, Google Play, Audible, 43 available distributors in total. Audiobook.